Why do mosquitoes prefer some people to others? A mosquito may seem like an especially primitive and pointless form of life, but it is, in fact, a brilliantly effective search and destroy weapon. Even though this mosquito rarely grows to a length of more than 16 millimeters and a weight of 2.5 milligrams, and is usually much smaller than that, it packs more sense in technology than a Fairchild Republic A10 tank buster aircraft. Only the female mosquito drinks your blood up to five millionths of a litre of it. But that's enough to make her one of the world's principal transmitters of disease, most famously malaria. While the male mosquito just flounces around drinking nectar, the more deadly female of the species is out hunting. How? She can detect the presence of carbon dioxide and lactic acid, produced by all mammals, including humans, when they breathe out. And this at a range of 35 metres or more. Pregnant women exhale 21% more carbon dioxide than other people, making them particularly easy to find. The mozzie is also good at tracking octanol, a byproduct of the consumption of vegetable matter, also found in human breath. The good news here is that both carbon dioxide and octanol can be used to lure mosquitoes into insect traps for obvious reasons. However, our mosquito is also good at seeing its prey, or rather at detecting movement, especially if it's a bright object against a contrasting background. And then, when it gets close, sensing the heat given off by your body. It gets worse. Your chemical blood type markers secreted through skin and saliva have a bearing on how attractive you are to a mosquito. A lucky 15% of people produce no blood type markers at all, but people with type O blood are up to 24% more attractive to a mosquito than people with no blood markers at all. Since type O is the most common blood group, this is especially bad news. Even worse is that drinking alcohol may attract mosquitoes. So although many people believe it's a myth, it is actually true that mosquitoes prefer snacking on some people to others. If you're a type A teetotaler, eat only burgers, wear camouflage, stand still and breathe gently through a straw, you're probably reasonably safe from attack. But if you're a type O, heavily pregnant, hot, heavy breathing woman in a bright orange romper suit cavorting around a dingy forest with a bottle of vodka, you've pretty much had it. Why not subscribe to Head Squeeze? That way, you'll be ready and prepared when we deliver more information about nature's hideous killers.